Well, I don't know. Climbing, I think, is about style as much as it is um, getting to the summit. So uh, anybody can, a telephone repairman can get to the summit of El Cap, you know. But how you do it is, is the whole, it's the whole game, you know. How do you do it? And what kind of style can you pull it off in? That perfect master thing that Back was into, which was I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do this death-defying thing because I can, you know, and because I got the head to do it, and you know, sort of quasi mystical sort of take on the whole thing. And he was, you know, that was what he was into. It's kind of a lost, or it's kind of an ignored idea, you know, the idea of a magnificent failure rather than a kind of mediocre success. I think maybe it's confidence, you know. They're not confident that um, confident in in themselves that they can their body will do what their mind tells them to do every single time. I think is a big part of it. You know, like you see people that can like draw a line on the ground and go, okay, let's stand right here next to this line, you know, and and, and you're on flat ground, and, and you know, are you gonna fall over the line? Um, no, you know, I'm cool. But then put them on a, a building, top of a building, and go, okay, stand here, there's a line right here, and here's, well, the edge of the building's line. Stand there. No way, man, I'm not standing there. You know, and other people will just be able to walk right up and go, yep, yeah, what's the difference between standing here next to the line and standing on top of a building next to the line? There's no difference. I mean, anybody that's going to head up a vertical knobby wall with just hooks nowadays, I mean, that, nobody does that. At all. No, I, I, I just haven't heard of anybody doing that other than him, really. Um, so it's a, you know, I was impressed with, you know, I, I grew up playing with John. I grew up with John. So I, you know, I knew the kind of things that he was capable of doing. And it didn't surprise me that he did it, but my hat was off because he, he did do it. You know, we climbed this thing, didn't even think we could, didn't think we could hang out hooks. And we ended up doing this weird tactic and it worked. And we got to the top and, you know, it's only a 400 foot climb or 500 feet, whatever. And um, just for a joke, um, you know, there's the great climbs like the Snard Herbert, the Steck Salathe, um, all these all these routes. And, and just to kind of tweak people, um, we knew it would tweak people and say, like, who names the route after themselves? And so we're going to just call it um, the Backer Urian, you know, um, because like people were starting to talk about rat bolting and stuff. And we actually, like face the challenge, like we're gonna go up this thing. We're not gonna rat bolt it. We're not gonna chicken out, do any of this other stuff, non-climbing. And so we're gonna uh, just call it back of urine and we know people are gonna laugh and go, look at those guys, he called it the back of urine. Oh, who do they think they are? And blah, 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 blah. And we're, we're just kind of giggling inside until some people start going up there and going, holy shit, this thing's a nightmare. Um, I think, Herman Boole's Nar Nanga Parbat Pilgrimage was like a really good book. I mean, th there's like the stories of this guy just completely cutting loose, where he's, he gets way run out on some climb, falls off, pulls out the one piece of protection they have, rips the belay out, they're both falling through the air, and the rope just snags on a little spike of rock. And the way he puts it is that instead of falling to my death, I fell into life itself. It just seemed wild. I mean, it was like um, people going to the moon or something, you know, but accessible. You don't have to have a spaceship or anything like that. So um, just it just intrigued me, you know. I started doing it and uh, never thought I was going to be any good at it. I just thought it would be fun to do.